We started a journey in British Columbia a couple of years ago by signing an MOU with the First Nation Leadership Council and the Métis Nation to end violence in BC and in particularly for in Aboriginal communities. We took that journey forward uh, to national roundtables and then brought it to a family gathering in February where we had over 350 family members come together to share their stories, to share their experience and their grief and their love uh, and to remember their loved ones. And so we have taken from that, uh, many, many family members contributed towards a quilt to put together to remember those that have been lost, uh, that are missing or murdered in British Columbia. We're taking this quilt as a symbol to be able to work together uh, in partnership with, um, with Aboriginal people, with communities, with leadership to find ways to bring an end to the violence. Some people couldn't verbalize what they, um, the pain that they were feeling, but were able to share it through their art, through their, their, the pieces, the mementos of the families. So may this quilt act as a reminder to all of us, not just of uh, the pain and the tragedy and the sorrow that the families have experienced, but all of the love as well that went into it. The significance of the quilt is a couple of different things. One is to raise awareness um, to the missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls in this province, to bring their voice and their spirits forward, um, to be acknowledged so that um, we can really address this issue and be able to move forward and beyond, that, beyond the issue that we have missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls in this province and in this nation. I think the significance to the family members is to um, really honor their, the spirits of their lost one um, to ensure that we haven't forgotten them and that they are remembered.